Hello everybody, it is Saturday. I thought I'd do an online um, uh, pre-recorded uh, video today and slap it on up. So, I've done some of the stuff I've already bought, but I forgot to show you guys, but this is just what I've gotten in the last few days. I thought I'd share it with you guys because it's actually pretty interesting. So I'll start with yesterday's finds. Hold on. So blocked today. So started with a cousin of mine went to an antique market, found out that they have like a crystal place there. So he was showing me pictures and I fell in love with the um, kyanite. Um, because the kyanite, guys. Okay, so he went um, and looked and I said, oh, I really like that kyanite. So he went and looked to see if it was there. He came back and basically told me that it wasn't there. And all of a sudden, he presented me with. I'll show you. It's kyanite from Rio de Sol, Brazil. You can see that. And this is how big it is. So if I switch my palm, it's about that big. And it was 20 bucks. It's huge. I don't know if you can, like, can you see that? Like the freaking camera doesn't do it justice, but it's awesome. So I found some information on it for you. Uh, this Jackie had a sliver of kind that used to be her husband's, so I used to use it all the time to clear energy after I've done some healings. So I'll look up here, and it says kyanite and <laughs> kyanite and your feelings. Habitual emotional patterns can create blockages in the energetic field which then repeats the same inner dialogue and emotional content over and over endlessly. Kyanite can aid in breaking those patterns, helping you to quickly create new pathways of energy flow and bringing immediate shifts in your perception of the world. And with Kyanite, it can help you uh, like open your chakras and align your chakras without even you doing anything. But once you visualize and you set your intention, it works even better. Uh, kyanite leads to a calming effect on the inner world of images and stirred up emotions. It encourages a pleasant, peaceful nature and liberates you from frustrations and stress. This stone encourages you to speak your truth by cutting through fears and blockages. Kyanite opens the throat chakra and encourages self-expression and communication. This stone stops confusion, illusion, anger, frustration, and stress. Kyanite can assist in negotiations, diplomatic missions, arbitration, and other forms of communication between disharmonious people. Kyanite calms the emotions. It brings a calming energy to anyone suffering from anger or other inflammatory emotions through the faulty perceptions. Then it says kyanite in the mind. Kyanite encourages logical, rational thought and spontaneous action whenever necessary. Kyanite also encourages conscious self-awareness. It increases the capacity for logical and linear thought. Uh, also excellent for attunement and meditation. So I'm going to try this. Uh, Kaina initiates psychic ability, promotes communication with higher beings, and can be used to open the third eye during meditation or healing sessions. Its structure and vibration make an ideal transmitter of energy from one being to another. It can be used to enhance telepathy between two persons and to transmit energy from healer to client. This is a good stone to have on your desk while studying or trying to figure out a solution to a problem. Use this stone to support you when you're consciously transforming ideas into manifest reality. That's awesome. Kyanite in the spirit. It's a beautiful stone, guys. Oh, I just let go of some here. And you know what? I am not going to throw that out. Here we go. Uh, kyanite stimulates the third eye and psychic abilities. It bridges blockages in the energetic and physical bodies and helps protect the aur auric field from intrusion. It can facilitate telepathy and transfer of energy from person to person. Kyanite helps you detach yourself from the belief in fate and to recognize when and where you have created the causes that have certain effects later on. Kyanite also enhances determination. The stone uh, the stone can help spiritual ma energy manifest in thought. Kind of helps you connect to your spirit guides and instills compassion. Oh, my phone just went boop. Uh, it grounds spiritual vibrations and brings spiritual integrity and maturation. Kyanite facilitates dream recall and promotes healing dreams. It is helpful for those making the transition through death. 
in healing, it stabilizes the biomagnetic field after clearing and transformation. Kyanite is a stone for activating your innate ability to communicate telepathically. It aligns the spiritual being within you and with the higher realm of consciousness, enhancing your ability to receive and transmit information on all levels. Kyanite teams up with selenite to align your energy centers so they are harmoniously working to provide a perfect vessel for communication with the higher realms. So blue kyanite, which is this one here, okay, this is black kyanite, blue kyanite, green kyanite, indigo kyanite, orange kyanite. So there we go. Those are all the kyanites. So the blue one is blue kyanite has a high vibration, can create very rapid transfers of energy. It opens the psychic channels and activates the mind center, accentuating and enhancing your ability to download information from higher sources. Blue kyanite can make a telepathic communication between people easier, especially if both parties are using the stone. When you sleep with blue kyanite, the process of lucid dreaming will be greatly stimulated. This stone can link the physical, astral, and casual bodies, catalyzing full consciousness in waking dream and dreamless sleep. You need do you do no, need to work at this process, but it's worth it in the end. So that is the kyanite. The next thing was I found what some people call the witch's ball. It's one of these. I'm gonna hang it in my altar. I think it was like three bucks or something like that. I've never had one, but it's hand blown glass. It's actually just just for that. It's pretty cool, and it's like red, green, and white. Um. The next thing I got was there's two of them there. One was two bucks. The other one was a dollar. Obviously, I picked up the dollar one. It reminded me of like a stag. I'm not too keen on this, but I thought that's that's okay. The other one was all red. This one was like just some gold on it. Can you see that? I thought that was cute. Woohoo! Love it. Then I picked up. Um, I usually have purple candle going. I have purple um, tapers. When I'm doing divination, any psychic work, anything like that. And I literally found this for like a buck. A big, huge purple pillar. So I'm going to put some herbs, dress it up with some herbs and stuff. Do some carvings on it on here for divination work. Love it. Uh, then I picked up two candle pine cones. So I'm doing Yule boxes this year, guys, um, for my shop and... Uh, I have, let me see, I think I have the prices on my phone. It's, um, I will tell you in one second. Just give me a moment to look. Screenshot. I wrote it down. It is $52.90. So $52.91, $52.90 for a Yule box. And what it comes with, it, that includes shipping. Canadian. What it comes with is um, a bunch of it's like a bunch of items that you can use for Yule rituals. You can use all through Yule. You can use in any spells, um, but it's kind of like geared more to like Yule. But I feel like there would be like maybe a pine cone candle or maybe a Christmas tree candle, um, a Christmas like a candle tree or whatever. There'd be different items in the box um, for Yule. And it's for the month of December or whatever. So I'm going to probably get one ready today or tomorrow to put up on my Etsy. Um, but yeah, and there'll be, I haven't decided if there's going to be 21. So it'll be like 21 separate ones. you got to open them up. It's basically like an advent calendar, but for Yule. Um, there'll be 21 items in each box, basically. Some, I know some sets come with 25, but 25 is like, the Americanized or Canadianized or um, Christianized, Catholicized, whatever, Christmas, 25 days. Us, it's 20, like 21 is Yule is 21st, that's where it starts. So I thought that'd be perfect. Stop until Yule, we'll get 21 surprises. So, yes, that is one of them. Then I've got, I don't know, something said to pick up these ornaments and I don't know why. I have no idea. But they're cute. It's only like, a buck or something. So that was from there. Let me put this stuff away. And then. Oh, that's there. 
And then today went up to Value Village and I've seen these bottles. They make perfect little spell bottles. And it does come off to there. This one is kind of stuck in there. My husband's going to get it out. So it's in there. But it's bigger. So $1.99 for both. Right, honey? Then I got little surprise baggies, but you can see what's in it. I just wanted it because of the candles. This one was $3.99. Oh, oh, that really hurt. Then I don't know if anybody can use these. If they're glass candles, they're the older school ones. I remember my parents having them. I don't even know how many things. So there's two of these. And then there's three of these. Three of these ones. So the first package is saran wrapped. Ooh, it's not bad. There's four tapered candles of like a bur real dark burgundy. So there's, there's four of them. We'll find these as well. Then there is, this looks like green, but I'm not sure. Oh, is that green or black? Or is that blue? Yeah, it's more like a blue. So there's one blue, dark blue candle. Then there is, let me count these boys. There is, ooh, they do fit. All right, oh, that's a broken one, so that can so they all burn the wax after. So there is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's seventeen of these ones, this color. And then there is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16. So 17 of these, I think it wasn't 16 of these. There we go. That's not bad, guys. Alright, these can go. Then, in a different Valley Village, because we were looking for something, I found this. No idea what's in it. I think this is beeswax, guys. Oh, it is. I've never burnt these beeswax candles before, but there's two of them. There's red sparklies. So you never know, it might be in one of those boxes. Like a lot of these items could be in those boxes, but there you go. That's actually pretty cool. And then, that's why I didn't know what size these were. So that's why I was like kind of leery. Oh, nice. Perfect, chime candles and they're green. Great for prosperity, abundance, amazing. And that's a whole pack too. It's a perfect time of year to grab, to get some of these. So there we go, guys. Put this back in. That's awesome, there's a whole pack of them. I'm gonna check online and see if I can get more of these. They're pretty big, I like them. You have made an excellent choice buying this quality candle made in Indonesia. As an oil producing country, we use only the best paraffin in our candle production. Environment friendly. Awesome. Peace candle. Hen Henson. There we go. And that is everything I've picked up for today. Picked up a dog bed for our dog. It's huge. She, he, she, she, he loves it. And there's three dogs. What else did we pick up? I think that's everything. And I've got to go in my shed and open it up because it opens up in about a half hour. You guys have an awesome day. Blessed be. Bye bye.